What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. Yes, two cards came back quickly, both my Super Express ones. So this is the Mech Chaser that I pulled from TP1 just like a couple of weeks ago, and it's already back. So I'm pretty excited to see what it got. If you guys remember, it was way OC, so we're hoping for the 9 OC. I'm gonna flash back to that pull just so you guys can relive it one more time. All right, third pack, here we go. We got the statue of the Easter Island. If that doesn't remind you of Night at the Museum, I don't know what, what will. The Judgment Hand, here we go. Make sure you guys hit the like button for this video because this is pretty expensive, pretty epic old opening. The centering is pathetic, look at it, oh my goodness. Mechanical Chaser, ultra rare, pulled from Tournament Pack 1. Unbelievable. All right. Now that you guys are in the moment, you remember the epicness of pulling it, we're going to open a few packs and then we're going to open up the card and see what it got. So we have a couple of first edition Legendary Duelists. These are pretty cool. The boxes are pretty expensive on these, but the reprints kind of hurt the value of the singles. We got a couple of Trishula's Triumph. There is like a $50 card in here. It's like Dragoonity something. I probably won't even know if I pull it. <laughs> Storm of Ragnarok, three packs and three Extreme Victories. So we're going to go a little bit heavier on the packs than we went the first time we had a... Uh, PSA return or like last time. What's that? Today's sponsor? Skillshare, of course. As you guys know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. I've talked about Skillshare before and what I really enjoy about them are video and editing classes. There are always new classes being released on Skillshare and because I love learning new things about videoing, editing, audience retention, and things like that, I always have new content. It's the same for you guys. Whether it be animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, music, photography, design or web development, all of these things are available on Skillshare. If you guys are interested, there will be a class for you, something you can learn about. And when you're bored, when you feel like you need to do something, you can fill your time with something that helps you improve, which is always really exciting. One class that I've been enjoying recently is a class about engaging my audience. And since you guys are my audience, I wanna learn about how I can engage you guys for a longer period of time. You guys can enjoy videos even more. And I've learned that from Skillshare. And the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link below get a free trial of the premium membership. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and get in there and learn some stuff, guys. We only have like six packs, so it was a little shorter, so I kinda wanna go a little longer this time. Okay, Tristle's Triumph, it's a Dragoonity Knight. If we pull one, we're gonna have to see what it is. Okay, so it's not this one. Anything that's not the big Dragoonity Knight is like less than, I think, $8. I think $8 is the biggest after that. So if we don't see Dragoonity Knight, we're not gonna look up the price, but I'll probably look it up just so I can get hyped in the video if it actually is. Okay. Legendary Duelist Season 1, this or not Season 1, the original one, before there was a Season 1. This has the Red Eyes Baby Dragon, there's a damage card, I'm pretty sure the back card's bent too, so this is a good start. Bonding H2O, Amazonas Village, and Amazonas Call, okay, not a great start. Okay, let's try a Storm of Ragnarok, I've told you guys probably a hundred times, I've never pulled the Odin Ghost Rare. Um, so hopefully we can do it one day, you know, right now would be great. Right now would be fantastic. We have token stampede. We got the scrap shark. That'd be so crazy to pull a ghost here and then get like a nine OC on the mech chaser. That'd be awesome. Diverge. <laughs> Come on. It gives me the Thor, but it's not a ghost here. This is not the, this is the Thor, not the Odin. So we have Thor Ragnarok here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. We have Thor Lord of the Acer. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, I think it comes in ulti, doesn't it? Yeah, and obviously it comes in first edition as well. So this is like double double uh, down from the, the top of the rarity, but it's still a really cool card. I don't know what it's worth. Probably a couple bucks. Pretty nice card, though. We'll take that. Any of the, uh, what are they called? They're called the, I can't remember what like the three lords or something are called. I don't, I don't remember what they're called. Oh, we got the weirdo. The jar turtle. Such a weird card. That is such a weird card. All right, we got out of the blue. That was an out of the blue card. How about that? <laughs> Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. Serene Psychic Witch. TG Rush Rhino. And the Morphtronic Lantron. Mental Seeker. Man, these just feel like... I don't know. This era, like right when Upper Deck quit making cards, just feels crazy. Like they're so much different. Oh, I always forget it's right in the front. Fabled. Dianaria, Dianera, I don't know. 
That is not the Dragoonity, though. It's a Dragoonity, Dragoonity Javelin, though. I am really struggling to speak right now. Okay. Storm for Ragnarok. I skipped the Joey, didn't I? Oh, well. We'll get back to it. We've got Token Stampede. We've got all the tokens. We've got a Blackwing, Kalima the Haze, Divine Relic, Shanae, uh, Kaigeki, and Terminal World. I don't know if it's Kageki, Kaigeki. It's spelled like Raigeki, but uh, with just a K. So, I don't, I don't know. Let's go back to Joey. Can we pull something epic like a Red Eyes Baby Dragon? Last time, I think we pulled the Red Eyes Fang with Chain, which is one of the best cards. So, it was pretty good. Armor Troy, we got the Amazonist Archer. Red Eyes Fusion used to be good. Oh, Water Dragon Cluster. That's a cool card. Water Dragon is a very, very cool card. And uh, we will be opening Elemental Energy soon. Maybe we'll get the Ultimate Rare. Probably not the one you want, but it looks absolutely incredible. So, that'd be actually be pretty cool. All right, Extreme Victory. We're getting close to that PSA reveal. I'm pretty excited. Extreme Victory. Out of the blue. Again, Scrap Kong. Book of the Mech... Wait, why am I... Why do I feel like this is worse? I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I have a feeling or a memory of that. I don't know what it is. Necro Defender. And the Resolute Mech Lord Army. All right. The Resolute Desk. <gasps> okay. Uh, enough National Treasure references. Let's, let's just keep going. Two more packs. Yeah, because, I mean, you can only reference the best actor of all time, Nicolas Cage, so many times. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I don't need to mention him anymore. Okay, Nordic Ascendant and Solemn Authority. And final pack before we get into the PSA return, Extreme Victory. Here we go. Reboot. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost Rare, Psychic Reactor, Army of Skeel, Scrap Kong again. Resonator Call. And the, the Nana Shik? Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, so we did not pull much in those packs. Hopefully, we'll pull something in this box. Okay, so we got to open this uh, this fortress that they put these cards in. I'm not going to bother trying to do it on camera because it's just ridiculous. It's insane. I have not peeked at this because I have that much willpower. <laughs> I did not peek. It was It was tough. Because I got the gray ball, I was gone. I was in Arizona. But I didn't look. I did not look for you guys. So we could be excited to get, hopefully excited, not disappointed. Potentially disappointed, you never know. Okay, the back. We got the back. Let's get this out of here. PSA graded mechanical chaser. Pulled on the channel. What will it get? Okay. I, it's between 9 and 8. Look, I mean, just look at the back centering. It's horrible. But I requested OC when I submitted it. So I'm hoping that, okay, let's get it out of the sleeve so we can see what kind of crap they got over the back because I'm pretty sure they covered it. Oh my goodness, tell me that's not on the card. This is crazy. They keep getting so much crap on the cards. Oh, this is on the card too. There's literally some on the card, I think. Look at this. You guys see this? Look at this crap. Why? It's a $300 service level, and this still happens. You pay $300. I haven't even seen the grade. I'm already upset. I'm already upset. This is crazy. I might send this back. I don't, because, like, I'm pretty sure some of that down there is on the card. You guys see that? Like, the lower part? I'm pretty sure some of that is on the card. Some of it's definitely not. And then some of it is. Like, is there a scratch on the case too? Oh my goodness. First of all, the centering is so horrible on this card, but let's see. Okay. What is it going to be, guys? The centering on the front is bad as well. The back is covered in junk, which is so annoying. All right, TP1. Please get the 9. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We'll get the 9. We'll get the 9 OC. We'll get an 8. We'll get a 7. What will it get? Here we go. Near Mint to Mint 8, of course. Of course! And they cover it in all this crap. This is so annoying. Oh my goodness. An 8 right out of the pack. That was expected, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. I mean, I know, look at the centering. It's pathetic. But, I mean, is there anything else wrong with this question besides all the crap they got on my card? Which is very annoying. Um, I mean, the corners look pretty good. They're maybe not, like, cut the most ideally. Maybe they're a little bit fuzzy or something. 
What's it's on the front too? What the heck? How is it on the front and the back? I need some like Windex over here. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think okay, it's not off. It's still on there. I'm just gonna be scrubbing during this video. This is crazy. Guys, this is just awful. If it was bulk, that's one thing, but I mean, come on. $300 service level, we're going to have junk all over the slab and on the card. I mean, it's an 8 anyway, but still, come on. This is like, this sucks. I'm sure that they do the encapsulating. Okay, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that they do the encapsulating the exact same no matter what service level. And that's where this happens. But I don't know how this still happens. I guess because they know they can get away with it. Because people are still going to submit. But, like, how is that? This is the one of the worst I've ever seen. And then if, in my last return, it was all over it as well. Yeah, so enough complaining. <laughs> we got my card back at least. I might I might re-slab it, but I, I'm not sure that they won't do it again. Um, we got the mech chaser. It's really cool. I only sent it $300 because I'm just, I just wanted to see what it got. I'm really excited because we pulled it. Still a really, really cool card. I upgraded for my PSA 7. Technically, it's an upgrade. We'll take it. And it is a really cool card. I pulled it myself. I'm always going to enjoy this card. Um, we'll definitely hang on to it because it's an 8. Really not worth that much. Anymore. Well, it's still worth like probably like 2 grand or something. But maybe a little bit more. But um, not really worth selling for me since I pulled it. But yeah, hopefully I can get some of this off. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video. Subscribe for more. We have some insane openings coming up. Hopefully our PSA returns to the future. Come back and... Don't have crap all over them, but I'm guessing that they will. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>